Climate change. Whoa. It's a bit of a loaded term associated with hot summers, cold winters, storms, droughts, fires, floods, famine, and overall ecological collapse. It's a term that has more baggage than a 737 flight. But why exactly is our climate changing? Is it natural? Is it people? And what's the science behind it all? Wow. Sustainable explainable. Mm. When we're referring to climate, we're talking about weather conditions associated with a specific region over a long period of time. For example, the climate in Hawaii is tropical, and the climate in Arizona is dry, and it's so dry. Desert. Oh, so, so dry. And all of this has to do with our airheaded friend, the atmosphere. The atmosphere is made up of four levels. The thermosphere, the mesosphere, the stratosphere, and the toposphere. The stratosphere has lots of ozone molecules which help filter out harmful ultraviolet light. And the troposphere, that's where our weather happens. The different layers of the atmosphere, they work together to keep our Earth warm and livable through a process called the greenhouse effect. Here's how it works. High energy UV from the sun enters the atmosphere, hits the Earth's surface, and is reflected back into the atmosphere in space as low energy infrared. The greenhouse gases help to trap in the radiated heat from the Earth. It's like an atmospheric game of pinball. Wait, aren't greenhouse gases bad? Well, not exactly. In fact, they're essential to life as we know it here on this planet. With the help of greenhouse gases, the greenhouse gas effect helps keep average global temperatures around 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Without them, the average global temperatures would be 10 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. That's literally freezing. So if the greenhouse gas effect is normal, then what's up with climate change? Well, through natural processes, greenhouse gases are pulled from the atmosphere and then packed underground. This way, the Earth is able to balance the amount of gases that are in its atmosphere and keep stable temperatures around the globe. According to NASA and NOAA, over the past 800,000 years, our atmosphere has had between 175 and 300 parts per million of carbon dioxide. But today, it's at almost 417 parts per million. According to NOAA, since the 1750s, humans went from emitting basically no carbon dioxide to over 35 billion tons. So how do we achieve pluming monstrous amounts of gases into our atmosphere? Well, it's from and from the Oh, and also And you can't forget about It's hard to say if climate change intensified specific weather events, but the trends in hotter summers, longer droughts, and higher storm surges is undeniable. In recent years, the International Panel on Climate Change has stated that the warming of our climate systems is unequivocal, which is basically science lingo for climate change is definitely happening. So what do we do to stop it? In order to make our atmosphere happy and healthy again, we need to reduce our emissions and fast. We also need to pull the current emissions out of the atmosphere and sequester them back into the ground. And this requires systemic changes like creating a more circular waste stream or protecting our natural resources and shifting away from fossil fuels as our main source of energy. I know it's a lot easier said than done, but change, big change, always starts with the individual. It starts with you and it starts with me. We can use our voices and our individual actions to help increase awareness about the climate crisis and help influence other people in our lives to live a more sustainable life, to actually want to live a more sustainable life. It's gonna be a tough road ahead, but hey, we can be in it together. So let's go make some change happen. Thanks for watching our Climate Sustainable Explainable. Want to learn how you can help out more with climate causes? Visit our website at sustainable-earth.org. Do you like this video? Go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Oh, and uh, wanna check out some more Sustainable Explainables? It's about to go.